When you're, when you're standing on the other side at uh, Cole Harbor and you're looking north and you see this vastness of the forest over here, that is the backdrop to the Lower Mainland. The District of North Vancouver has established the urban containment boundary as the upper limit on the mountain slope for development. These forests provide a lot of free ecological services that we couldn't even begin to duplicate if we ever lost it. And this forest prevents the landslides and debris and the sediments through the heavy winter months of rain from sliding and contaminating the, uh, the drinking water source. It filters the water, it purifies the water all year long. It retains water in the slope, it provides the base flow through the drier summer months and keeps those uh, reservoirs full. Uh, and it's serving about two million people. It also provides a huge carbon sequestration, carbon sink across the North Shore. This is huge, 12,700 hectares of trees soaking up carbon every day. The other emerging opinions that are coming out is that one of the greatest threats to human health is actually declining biodiversity and the lack of the availability of people to get out and reconnect with the natural environment. And even our urban planning is now looking at not only these vast areas like our 12,700 hectares of forest, but planning our park systems such that there are parks in all of our communities that allow people short respites to get out, get into a park, relax, see the green, get amongst the trees, hear the birds, and get away from that bit of their stressful urban life for at least a little while.